when we were going to South Africa, to Durban, South Africa, the Lord taught me about air visitation. And in this speaking about air visitation, this time he was very specific. Hallelujah. Amen. Extremely specific about the visitation to the extent that he actually defined the location, the specific location of the visitation. Hallelujah. Amen. But going to South Africa, you understand? And so, that has puzzled me also a little bit. Because the venue of the visitation, when we reached there, I did not see. We were in a very modern setting. You understand? Very modern, you saw. Stadium, modern, top state-of-the-art stadiums. Extremely modern. But that was not the venue that the Lord had defined, the specific venue for the specific visitation. In that dream, I was standing at the altar of the Lord, and there was the multitude of the big meeting, tremendous sea of people, and on my left, in fact, towards my left, when I was looking, is it my left or in front of me? It looks like in front of me like this. Okay, in front of me like this. Anyway, when I was looking, I saw the, the terrain. You understand? And in front of me was a tall building. A tall building. Follow me on this now. Again, standing at the altar of the Lord, and I could see the venue of the meeting, its terrain. And there is a tall building that I was describing as being creamish yellow building. I kept saying creamish yellow building, something like that. And this building, I kept saying that this building, look at this now, that the roof is like stairs, like this. Like this, like steps, stairs, like this, like this, stairs, like steps. And for some reason, I also knew that there is a bit of a crack, or a crack on the wall. The Lord shows me the detail, real detail, on that building. There is a crack on the wall. So I have a lot of finer detail. You see that? So again, this is the venue of the meeting. I'm standing here. This is the terrain, and I don't know it's in front of me like this. The terrain, and then there is a tall building, follow me on that now, with that kind of creamish yellowish color, like creamish yellowish like that. And then, but the roof has, is like steps, stairs. And when I do, every time I did it for them, I've always done like this, look at this now. Like this, like this, like this, meaning clockwise ascending. But on the background of that tall building, there is a rising hill on the other side. And when I looked at the rising hill from on the meeting, I mean the meeting, I could see the residential quarters. Houses, habitations, residential, on the background now, there is a rising hill behind it, residential quarters. People are living there. Specific location. Hallelujah. Amen. Of this visitation. And so in that meeting now, look at this now, in that meeting now, in that location, heaven opens. Hallelujah. Can you just follow me on this? I know you want to jump up and celebrate. So, there is a specific, this time, he defined a specific location for that visitation. So, again, like I said, terrain, the tall building, the roof like steps, step like this, creamish yellow sort of, but the background, there is a rising hill on the background of the, of the tall building, meaning of the other side now, and residential quarters, houses there. And then look at this now. In that meeting, 
heaven opens into the meeting, and when, and when heaven opens, look, a strange rain comes down like a column. Like a column, and people say, hey, hey, look, it's raining that side, not this side. And I see his camera. He is the one I see with the camera. And uh, as he has his camera, and I'm saying, be careful, the electricity don't touch you at rain or water or something like that. And so there's a bit of water dripping also. From, I see detail, so much detail. His camera. He's recording there. And that rain has now come, and now water is falling. And even his camera, I said, be careful, the electricity does not touch water. And it's dripping from, there's a drip that comes, there's a dripping that comes from his camera. But the Lord makes that dripping fall on me. I'm giving details. And then, so people say, hey, look, it's only raining this side, it's not raining this side. It's a strange rain. It comes as a column first. And then, after that, then the rain now goes this side. This side. See my hand? This side. And when it goes this side, it goes like this. Look now. You see this kind of... Uh, this kind. Another way. Like that. Several. Can, can I repeat this? You know when the, the, a wave of water, rain, eh? they, they are going down. Now I see it is cement. Now I see it's on cement, and it's going, it's going, different waves like that. So when I went to South Africa, I did not find this venue there. That was so modern, that place, right? That, that was a stadium, really. That was a very top, ultra-modern stadium. I went to French Guiana, I did not see the venue there. I was looking for this venue. A specific venue for this specific visitation. Amen. So now, but as we were in South Africa before, uh, I mean, before we left, so now, the senior archbishop comes. Because the pastor said, we know that venue. We want to do a meeting in that venue. We know what, that venue you describe, we have it. They begin to tell me that. But in that meeting, the archbishop says, man of God, look, I know the venue. I said, okay, tell me, where is it? He said, look, in Nakuru. He said, Nakuru, where we're going to the meeting? Yes. That place is. If you just stand like, where the man of God will stand like this. If you stand like this, and you just look like this, you will see on the other side like this, presidential quarters. And the tall building is there the silo. So, no, I just dismissed him right away. So now, when I, I, I went to French Guiana, I was trying to look for the venue, but the venue of French Guiana, I know, because it's always at the city center, the downtown. So downtown is not an open place where uh, I'm going to see that residential. There are buildings, there are kind of flats, you see? So I knew that probably it's not French Guiana. But there is a specific location for this specific visitation. And, 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 you cannot manipulate God on it. So that is what I began to understand there. You cannot twist his arm and dodge him and uh, to, uh, to, to bring him to another place. There is a specific visitation for this uh, specific location with features for this specific visitation. So, I will share with him. But now, recently, as the Nakuru meeting comes, then I start to think about this location. And I said, let me go to the web and check on this silo, because he already told me where the venue is going to be. This tall building, the silo. When I looked at it, I was really shocked. Because I was so astounded to see where now you see like the steps eh, of the roof of the building that I was talking about. The steps. This is now closed. That's all right. But there is one he sent me which is quite far where you see now, you see now, you see. 
And I knew that there was a crack on one of the walls. What the Lord showed me is on here. It looks like this one here. It, you can see it was sealed. Mm -hmm. Because in the dream I knew that there is a crack on the wall. So, could we be sitting <laughs> on the verge of a monumental visitation? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This was very shocking because I told him now, can you then go and take for me the picture of the background of the venue where the Lord is sending me? Then in the background, surely yes, there is a rising hill. And there are residential houses. Eh? There are residential houses. And so now, as I was preparing to meet you people, I've already told him, can you bring them so I share with them this before, the two prophecies, the senior people, before I go live on these things. But yesterday, in the morning, the Lord speaks with me. Before now, you people come. Then I burst it. I burst it up. I break it open before you have arrived. Because I have to obey. When he says I have to go on air, right? And then I went on air saying, because now I was in the meeting, then all of a sudden, rain came down. You see that? So now, okay, he wanted me also to use that to speak with you, right? However, I broke it yesterday. Hallelujah. Amen. So we are sitting on the verge of a tremendous visitation. I don't know what it is about Nakuru or Kenya. So I was asking the senior archbishop, but why would the Lord speak to me about the big visitation in Kenya when I'm headed to South Africa? Did you understand that part now? Why? Oh yes, I'm going to Durban. You see that? They're waiting for their visitation. Everyone wants to like Kenya, right? And of course the man of God wants everybody to reach Kenya's level. Though sometimes we realize God is not democratic, as I say. So I'm preparing to go to South Africa. Then the Lord speaks this. Now, it's not the first time the Lord has done that. Because sometimes you really want him to do big things on the other side. And then he will show me the creepers that are going to walk. And when I check very carefully, the creepers that walk there are not the ones I saw as I was going. I saw these ones also, but not, I've not seen others. And when the Kenyan meeting comes, then I see the creepers in the Kenyan meeting. So, so you know, listen to this now. We need to understand that. How much does the Lord love Kenya? That when I'm going to South Africa for their own visitation to aspire to be like Kenya, he's speaking to me about the Nakuru visitation. Then God must love this country. Hallelujah. If there is any demonstration, if there is any demonstration of the love of God for this country, it is this one. Even in Brazil, remember? Oh, yes, my Lord. yes. I'm now moving, I think, from Rio to Sao Paulo. Yes. And it shows me the crippled baby walk in the hotel room. Yes, my Lord. Actually, I enter the conference and tell the Brazilians about baby blessings, right? Yes, my Lord. The crippled that's going to walk here. Baby blessings. You, you remember baby blessings, right? Yes. I share with them from Rio. And I'm going to Sao Paulo. In fact, Sao, Sao Paulo, they did the meeting up the hill. It was an open meeting like this. So probably even a healing service should have taken place there, right? They wanted a healing service, though it was a conference. But it shows me from Rio, the, 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 the crippled baby and so forth, many cripples that walk, the crippled baby blessings, even the wool and white wool, you understand? Jacket that should wear. Hmm? Why would God speak to me about Kenya, 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 and more Kenya, and Kenya, Kenya, and Kenya again, Kenya, and Kenya, 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 and Kenya, and more Kenya, and now Kenya, and forever Kenya. Wow. Hallelujah. Remember, the rain when it comes, I see it on cement on this side now. The and cement, that type of waves that go, right? On cement. 
And then I found out that within the same place, there is a roundabout, right? Because the, the, the cement that I saw, the rain sweeping on the cement, that I saw. And then I realized really on the right hand side where the rain was sweeping like this, there is actually a roundabout there. So, I found out that this venue actually fits the specific location. And this is the first time he picks the particular details of a, visit, uh, a venue, of a visitation. So this is the roundabout, right? Yes. So this is where the waves of well, the tarmac, eh? Or, is the, or maybe the tarmac road. Maybe the tarmac road. Is the, the road is near, right? Yes. So could it be that the water is sweeping because it's on cement? Is sweeping the highway? Or is sweeping the roundabout, but it's on cement. And but yesterday, when I was in the meeting in Nakuru, he took me to the meeting already. Then rain came. No, I went on air yesterday, right? Yes, I went on air, right? So the question then is, why Kenya? Why is the Lord loving Kenya that much? I, I am beginning to understand also that the love is so much, is tremendous, is overflowing, is surpassing. Right? For Kenya. Why Kenya? Can I explain now? Yes. Because right now as I speak here, sit, standing here, this is 2 o'clock, right? About 2 o'clock Friday. And then look who is here. Did you understand? Why Kenya? Because now it's about 2 o'clock. Senior lawyers, who what, what doctors, you are sitting here. Oh, yes. This is what, you know, Kenya is blessed because she's wealthy. And she's wealthy because she's rich in holy pastors and bishops. Do you understand that? <laughs> And nobody can wish that away or write it away, right? God is no respecter of persons. He respects a disposable heart, a heart which is disposed to him, which is available to him. Not which country, which politically correct, big name, America, China, whichever. Huh? The same God watches them. He's watching here. He says, in the middle of the day, you people are sitting here discussing what? The visitation of Jehovah. Did you understand? I now understood better. Why Kenya? Why, why Kenya? I'm going to South Africa. Don't talk to me about Kenya. He said, no, I want to talk to you about Kenya. This is a very blessed church. Amen. Why? Because you are rich in holy pastors. And you are rich in holy bishops. And you are rich in the holy archbishop. Oh, yeah.